My heart is filled with so much peace when I'm with you. I knew this letter would be difficult to write because no words would be able to express the depth of my love for you. In everything you do and everything you are, you have shown me gracious, undeserving love that can only come from God. You have shown me what gentle strength looks like. You teach me the practice of speaking truth with love. Daily you show me that you don't just love me on my best days, but you love me despite my weaknesses and anger. Because of you, I know that home is a person. I pray that we may be neighbors in heaven, annoying each other for all eternity. Because I want to be stuck with you forever. I know God works in mysterious ways, but I never could have imagined all the ways that you are wonderful. You, Habibi, are so worth the wait. You are by far the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love you so, so much. Dear Heavenly Father, how can I ever thank you for blessing me and allowing me to marry the most beautiful girl today? I am eternally grateful for bringing us together and always showing us your grace. Please, O oh God, strengthen me to love Mary as you loved her and treat her as the loyal daughter she is. Please, O oh compassionate Father, always remain in our midst and fill our hearts with the heavenly joy and peace that only you can provide. I really don't know where to begin and explain how amazing you are and how much I love you. I could start with your contagious, beautiful smile or how smart you are. But what I love the most about you is your caring and compassionate heart. Thank you, thank you for loving me more than I have ever been loved. I couldn't even in my wildest dream have imagined a best friend and a partner like you in my life. Every day has been an amazing journey together. I want to spend every single day of my life showing you the overwhelming love that is in my heart for you. If I have to, I will swim or most likely barbut every ocean to show you my love. Yalla, yalla bina yalla and let's become one. Keep in mind, as you are walking down the aisle today, You'll be the only one I see. My heart will be raising of how beautiful you are look to me. Your one and only Pookie and husband, Ibi. Savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the Lord's perfection, we declare the marriage of the Blessed Orthodox Son from to the Blessed Orthodox Daughter Mary. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Blessed daughter and happy bride Mary, you have heard what is commanded of your husband, so you must honor and respect him. Do not disagree with him, but increase your obedience to him, what was commanded to you all many times, because you are now alone with him, and he is responsible for you and for your parents. So you must receive him with joy and cheer. Do not frown in his presence, do not ignore any of his rights on you, and fear God in all your deeds with him. Because God the Most High commanded you to submit to Him and obey Him as you obeyed your parents. So obey Him as our mother Sarah, and love obeyed our father Abraham. We bow before the Lord of hosts, before His angels, before His saints, before His holy altar, before our reverend father the priest, and all those who are present, to live a true Christian life of matrimony as befits the gospel of Christ and used to address him, my Lord. Thus, God looked on her obedience to him and blessed her and gave her Isaac in her old age and made her offspring at the stars of heaven and the sand of the seashore. So if you observe what we instructed you to do, the Lord, and follow the commandments, the Lord will support you and provide for livelihood. Blessing will descend on your house and he will grant you blessed children that will fill your heart 
with joy and peace and happiness. Amen. Instead of walking on her own, she liked to drive. She drove her Barbie car and bicycle and also when she sat on my shoulder and used my head as a steering wheel. I'm really very proud of her and her activity. For Abraham, when I saw him for the first time, I asked him, are you planning to be a priest? Abraham, ever since you came into Mary's life, you've changed her life into a much bigger adventure. That's not just travel. For example, you've made her a wee bit more festive. I want Christmas pictures this year because for those of you who don't know, Mary's a Grinch. I'm so happy that you get to share this chapter of your life together. And Ibram, remember that Mary gets hangry, so you'll avoid a lot of problems just by having a little of on you. Congrats, Ibram and Mary. As many of you don't know, my brother strategically set his wedding date on his birthday. <laughs> Smart move, bro. I guess you can never forget it. I can't imagine a perfect way to spend it than with a beautiful, beautiful girl right next to you. The best marriage advice I can give you guys comes from the greatest show of our time. So remember, eat like Joey, dress like Rachel, Sing like Phoebe, cook like Monica, laugh like Chandler, and love like Ross. Mary, I've watched you grow into a beautiful, independent, intelligent, and God-fearing young lady. I'm so proud of the woman you've become. I remember the day she came to me in my room and told me about Abram. I knew right away that he was someone special and was the one for her. Mary and Ibby crossed paths several times in their lives before officially meeting. This was the right time God brought them together. Maybe I see how much you love and care for my sister, and I'm blessed to have gained you as a real brother. On behalf of our family, Mary, welcome, and we love you. From the day we met you, we knew that Abram has found his perfect match. We see that you guys brought out the best out in each other. So, if everyone can raise their glass. Abram and Mary, we wish you a life full of love, joy, and happiness. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Atalla. Congratulations to both of you, Mr. and Mrs. Atalla.